Hey, in today's finance video, I'm going to show you how I track my dividend payouts and also my money market APY payout each month. It's a spreadsheet I use. Recently, actually updated it, add more stuff to it. So I figure I share with you. So let's dive right straight into it and skip all the intro stuff. Okay, so enjoy. All right, guys. Here, so we're looking at the dividend drip dividend stock portfolio tracker. This is one spreadsheet I created years ago, and over the years I just updated and add more to it. And this year, what I did to it was I added a sort feature where you can calculate or where it can process the dividend payout per per year, so you can track over year over year. That's a nice little feature I add. So let's look at what how I track this here. First thing you what you're looking at right now is a summary. The summary is where you in, you just kind of look at all the information that gets input. Um, but let's go to the setup first. The setup is where you actually input all your stock ticker information, uh, current price. You got your, as you can see, your current price, dividend target. You can track your dividend target. And here I have my information. I have my stock tickers on the left. And then you can add your location here. And of course, these are all pretty much USA. So I, I left the bank, but you can add that all in there and make it make it cool because they're actually on the dashboard. There is a map that tracks where all your stocks coming from. So let's let's say I put um, here I put uh, like UK, and then it actually can will create a map for you in his computer. But we can go back there because it takes a while to process that. And this does have a a ability to update automatically if you have microsoft here you can see if you have microsoft 365 you can download their their software or the app where it actually um or download into the spreadsheet that can all automatically update your your ticker price and i have do have that info here in the data entry tab to show you how to do that here you can see but let's jump back here but once you Input all your current price, your dividend target. Here's your dividend income. As here, I have my asset purchase. You can see I have my stock this year. I want to, my target goal is 80. Uh, deposit money is 100,000. So I, I want to track that. Once you put all that information, all that gets carried over into your, your um, summary, your stock monthly dividend calendar. I know it's a lot of information I'm covering, guys. Uh, it's a very elaborate spreadsheet, but it, it is pretty neat because you can see everything that's grown and that's how you track it. Because I like to see I like to see the dividend payout. As you can see here, you look into this monthly dividend calendar. I like to see how often I get paid and the total and the by month. So this calendar right here tells you all that. And you can switch the years here. You can see you can switch the years. Um, I start tracking it last year in the middle of the month. Um, and then you can see here, 2025, where you got four payment. Uh, nice little thing you can track. And then you get all these charts. It's dynamic. It gets updated automatically. Because if you, let's say you do, you add a, a ticker here, let's say AAA, and automatic all across the spreadsheet, everything gets updated. Um, jumping back on the map here, you can see, I just want to go over before I, I jump back onto the other topic we're talking about. You see how the map gets updated. Little, little nice feature. But see, so once I add uh, AA in there, you can see how it gets updated uh, on there. And of course, the font's kind of small. You can zoom in or you can adjust your fonts, your color, whatever thing you want to do. Um, jumping back here, um, but this is how I used to track my dividend payout. And probably, probably skipping the most important part here is the data entry. This is where you enter all your information. As you can see here, my my uh, money market payouts and and dividend payout gets entered in here. It's really easy, simple. Once you enter in there, it gets carried over. You see your ticker, date, notes, share. But once you enter all that in there, it gets carried over to your your summary, and then. Uh, your months but here um this year new bought this i added it because i like to my goal is to get paid every day from dividend right everybody wants that of course and you can do that uh with this spreadsheet i, I programmed it uh created where as you can see here 
where all your assets get purchased for the, for the year. Last year, you see the more green I have, the more uh, that the green highlight green cell means that day I got paid dividends. So that's cool. Um, that's cool to see so that you can, it, it, it makes you um, want to hit that goal, right? Um, and you can change the year here. You can see uh, 2025 already got uh, two days. Of course, it's going to... If you get paid the same day, it's not going to highlight twice, right? But nice little feature I had in there. Now, jumping back to um, a dashboard here. And this is the dashboard. This You don't have to do much. You don't have to do anything in this dashboard. This is crew summary. Just give you the overall, your portfolio, um, your total. And then you scroll down here and just break down your dividend income insight. You know, liquidated. This is all stacked charts right again it's all dynamic dynamic mean all the charts get updated on like automatically now jump back into dividend asset purchase um this is what i like is your gain and loss plus your dividend so you can tell how much you you gain you lost with dividend pay or not um as you can see i got some that that gain from with dividend pay on some that didn't gain uh, by just putting the market price in there and it updates that for you. Um, as you can see, uh, the highest return I have is a, a, uh, Apple, 34%, really good return. And I got, of course, one that's uh, not doing too well, but then you can see that it gives you visual management. So next year, you can, towards the end of the year, you can sell your stock that you lose, right? That That's a loss and you can offset it with the one that gains. So that's that's nice to have. So you can see that. But jumping back to, uh, I recovered the calendar. Now jumping back to the stock monthly again. This, you don't have to do anything. Um, monthly dividend calendar, you don't have to do anything. You can see here that the progress towards annual dividend is set by your setup here. So you, so here is your target dividend goal, right? Jump it back here. And it's getting that information from here. So your goal is to get 39,000, 3,900 dividend per, you know, well, my goal is to get 3,900 a year on dividends, right? Of course, it's already, looks like I'm going to surplus that here. But that is taken from, let me see here. That's each, that's per year annual dividends. So because you set it by annual, um, this needs to be a little bit higher. So I have to. Come back and set that. Um, and now let's go to the summary. And summary is where you can change all your ticker here. You can see I can change all this and keeps you the performance of e ticker. So you don't have to scroll to all this, but all this information is right here. It tells you your um, monthly dividend income, as I can see, and you want that to continue to grow right each month, and that's what it looks like my my portfolio is doing. And then you want your gain loss dividends, little uh, little nice feature to add per ticker. You can see again here accrued dividend income by ticker. Which one's uh, paying the most, and which one's now? Of course, you can see my money. Uh, the money mark market account is paying the most. Um, and then uh, you got your month monthly portfolio balance. So this goes by year. So you can look by year. You see how it generates rate up, um, and then uh, December. So a little nice thing. Again, this is this is goes year by year, and that's yeah, that's pretty much. This is how I track um, my dividend payout and money market um, payout each month. But this I do have a link below if you guys are interested. But this is again very nice, very nice, uh, nice to have. Um, you know, it gives you pretty much everything you want to, you know, a little fun little hobby, right, to track your, your payout. Um, but other than that, guys, until next time, until the next uh, finance video, take care. And uh, if you have any questions, do leave a comment below.